homeschooling Grammy and I thought I would come back on here and give you all a little update, a health update. Um, as you can see, I'm sitting on my couch because it's comfortable <laughs> and um, I have to stand up like I do when I'm in the bedroom most of the time, although the last time I didn't stand up. Um, so anyways, if this is something that you're interested in, um, stick around and we will get started. Um, I will try not to be too long winded. I will try to just be like straight into the point. Um, but I'm hoping that, um, my journey will be a blessing to others. Um, because I know that there are others who, um, are dealing with this same disease and I just really want it to be a blessing, um, to somebody else. So stick around and we'll get started. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I want to start my video off by giving all glory to God, all of it, it all, it all belongs to him. Um, I want to glorify him and, and all of this. And, um, so I'm going to start by reading some scripture and then I will give you some results. Okay. So the first scripture is from Mark eleven twenty four. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. And then Psalm 37, 4, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. So, um, if y'all haven't watched, um, my previous video, um, I'll leave a link or an iCard or whatever, and I'll leave a link in the description box. It gets into a lot more detail about what this disease is and what it means, what it does to you. Um, so, so you'll have a better understanding. You might want to go back and watch that video, but for the people that have already seen the video, I mentioned in my previous video that I was going to be having an MRI. Um, the MRI was supposed to have taken place on Friday. Um, they ended up moving the MRI date up. Um, and so I think I had it on Tuesday. I can't remember. Yeah, I think it was on Tuesday. So anyways, um, I had to travel an hour. I had the MRI done. Um, the insurance never did give um, clearance to have an MRA done. Um, and so I received the results on Friday and I was told that everything was normal in the MRI, which I'm so, so grateful for um, because it could, MS can show up on MRI um, so can a tumor on your brain. Um, and neither one of those things is a factor, um, because there's different things that can cause this, um, trigeminal neuralgia. And it was neither of those two. So I'm with the majority. In other words, um, the majority of people that have TN have, um, nothing show up on any kind of testing. And that includes MRAs, CTs, um, there's, you know, a few different imaging modalities that they can use to try to figure out, um, what is going on. So basically for me, it means nerve damage and it does mean that, um, and somehow the, the trigeminal nerve has been compressed in my brain. Um, but it doesn't show up on imaging. Um, I mean, there's people that end up with surgery and whatever to try to figure out where the source is. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned before that, um, I am very much want to take a natural approach because the side effects from the, from the drugs that you would have to take, which are anti-seizure medications are plentiful. Um, and I talk in more detail about that also in my other video. So I don't want to go back into that anymore either, but I just wanted to say, um, what a blessing it is. I'm very blessed that, you know, it's not a tumor and it's not MS. Um, but it will be chronic, but that's not the end of the story. So hold on and I'll be right back. Okay. So y'all know how much I love Jesus. I don't keep that secret. So I can tell I'm like bursting about this. <laughs> um, and there are no coincidences. There are no coincidences ever, 
ever, never, ever, ever, never. I think everything happens for a reason and for a purpose and um, it is all for him. It's all for Jesus Christ. So I'm going to read two more um, scriptures to you real quickly. And then I'm going to get into why I say there are no coincidences. So Philippians 419, and my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He says he will supply every need, not just some of our needs, but every need. Proverbs 2130, no wisdom, no understanding, no counsel can avail against the Lord. So no wisdom, no understanding, no counsel can avail against the Lord. So nothing any human being tells us, no matter who they are, avails against the Lord. Nobody is smarter. No one's counsel is greater than God's. And now I'm going to tell you the rest of the story. So, okay. I joined a Facebook group for people that have TN because I felt it was really important that I educate myself. Um, and so that's what I did. And my initial um, thought process was, okay, I'm going to try CBD oil. And I did. I tried CBD oil. And it was like taking a sugar pill. It didn't do anything. I was debilitated, completely debilitated. I was having shocks about every 10 or 15 minutes. Um, and the only relief I was getting, as I shared in my other video, is I would pop my earbuds into my ears and I would blast the music as loud as it would go. I had, it, I had the volume as high as it would go. And I would give it to God. And that was the only time I would only time I would get relief. Okay. So it's not a sad thing. This is a good thing. So, okay. As I had said, I had joined this Facebook group and you know, it's very, it's so sad because I think to myself, how do people who don't know Jesus deal with this disease? Cause I can't imagine, I can't even begin to fathom how somebody could ever deal with this disease and not know the Lord. And it was evident in the Facebook group. The first post on the top is for the National Suicide Hotline. Because it is so debilitating that it causes people to take their lives. So, anyway... There were some comments about medication and thus and such. And somebody had spoken up how, you know, I had been thinking it, but somebody else said it, how, how negative it was. And didn't anybody ever have anything positive to say? And that, you know, these were the things that she was doing and she wasn't taking, um, you know, some of the normal course of action, some of the you know, the pharmaceutical drugs that most people, um, take when they have this illness. And so I just underneath her just said, you know, amen. I'm so glad to hear something positive and God willing, I'm never going to take any of those pharmaceutical drugs. Well, I got backlash. Let me tell you what got told that clearly I must not be in any pain or at least not pain worthy enough for medication um, and a few other choice things. <laughs> so I, I don't engage in negativity. So I was like, okay, it is what it is. I shut it down. My husband was in the kitchen with my granddaughter. Um, and so I went in there and I said to him, I told him what was said. And I said to him, you know what, Bruce, God willing, I believe with all my heart that God gives us every tool that we need to be healed and to be better. That he gives it to us naturally. That it is found here 
on the earth and that I just believe with every ounce of my being that God's going to show me the way. And I kid you not, not five minutes went by and I um, checked my phone and there's notification from Facebook and it's from this group and it's from a woman and she asks if she can private message me and it's not the same woman that, you know, I had thanked for, you know, having um, not posted so much negativity about this disease. Um, it was somebody completely different. And I had also been in, I've been in contact with a couple of other people. Um, one that actually doesn't live too far from me. And then somebody else that lives um, in Florida. But anyways, this woman asked us if she can private message me. And I'm like, sure. So she starts telling me what she does. <sighs> I've mentioned a few times that I'm kind of an oil freak, an essential oil freak. Um, it's done wonders for me. Um, I haven't really gotten into it, but I used to suffer from pretty bad depression and anxiety and essential oils. I've been 18 months free from depression and anxiety with my essential oils. Um, and I used to take, you know, the normal pharmaceutical stuff for that. And, you know, I don't recommend to anybody to do that. Everybody is their individual. I'm not here to give medical advice to anybody either. I'm just going to tell you what, what has happened to me and that I know, not even believe, I know it's God. So anyway, she, she tells me um, about some oils to use. And the one oil that she mentioned to me is called Melissa oil. Now, Melissa has been my go-to oil when I struggle, when I'm having a, a more than typical day. Like if, if my struggle is harder that day and I'm feeling down more so that you, than usual or stressed or whatever, but that, that's my go-to oil for when it's kind of like bad. And all I do is I take it and I rub it on the sole of my feet before I go to bed. And it works amazing. So it's got to have been at least six months ago, maybe more. Um, I had a bottle of Melissa oil. And anybody who knows anything about essential oils knows Melissa oil is a precious oil. It's very expensive. So when I had bought the first... Um, Thing of Melissa oil. That was the other reason why I only saved it for occasions for when I really needed it. Um, cause it's like $140 and I'm a doTERRA consultant and it's the bottles like this big. So there came a time where I had gained enough points, um, that I could go ahead and purchase more oil. And I had said to Bruce, I'm like, you know what? I have enough points. I think I'm going to take, um, the majority of my points and I'm going to go ahead and buy myself another bottle of Melissa oil. And I say, there are no coincidences. There are none. Um, there was a reason why I purchased that oil that day. And yeah. So anyways, this wonderful woman described to me stuff that she does. And I thought to myself, okay, so I'm praying about it. And I thought, what do I have to lose? I'm going to trust God with this. God sent this woman to me for a reason. And I have on hand already exactly what she's talking about. And this oil is from God. I mean, it really, I mean, it's natural. It comes from the earth. It's not, it's not anything that man man has made. And so that night, I'm trying to remember it was in the evening and I took one drop and I put it under my tongue and I held it there because she said that she would hold up 15 to 30 minutes, the oils that she would hold under her tongue. 
but I thought I'm only going to try one and see what happens. I'll try Melissa. And so I did. And I think I held it for maybe 20 minutes and I swallowed it. And for the first time in weeks, my pain went away. Completely went away. I was mind blown. I'm like messaging my best friend who's been my friend since middle school. And she's the one who introduced me to these oils to begin with. And I'm messaging her and she's a devout Christian. She's born again. And I'm like, I can't believe this. I have no pain. Like I will seriously, I have no pain. Like I don't hurt. And she's like, seriously, she ends up, we end up video chatting and we're talking and back and forth and whatever. And, um, I'm like, I, I really don't have any pain right now. Um, and so there starts the beginning of it. So I'm not going to tell you that I never have any breakthrough because sometimes I do, but it's not anything like it was. And I'm going to explain to you what I do and how it's been working for me. Um, and what a miracle it is because I truly believe it is a miracle. It is a gift from God and it's not a coincidence and it's not, it was a divine appointment that that woman contacted me. It was a divine appointment that I purchased the exact oil that I was going to need for this to happen. And that my best friend would introduce me to this oil 18 months ago. When doctors tell you that the only thing that will not even heal you, but will take your pain away are very powerful pharmaceutical drugs and surgery. So I want to just kind of go through what I use. Okay, so I'm going to take a break just for a second because I want to show you. Okay, so I went and grabbed all of my goodies. Should have had them to begin with, but I didn't. Um, but I forgot to mention something that this woman said to me that night. She said to me, Kim, Melissa was my life changer. She's like, it changed my life. She'd been suffering with this for several years and it changed her life. Okay, so she named, what did she name? Like five oils to use. I had four of the five. So I've only been using four of the five. And I, I ordered the fifth one. I'm still waiting for it to come in the mail. Um, so I'm going to give you an idea. I'm gonna, Actually, I'm going to show you the oils. No, I don't have the Copaiba. The Copaiba is coming in the mail, um, like I said. So I will be adding that to my oil regimen. And let me tell you that it started at first that I had to do this every three hours. Every three hours, I would swish with these oils. Um, now I'm down to maybe taking it once or twice a day. Once or twice a day. And I still have the same results. See, like right now, like you, I kind of feel like a pressure sometimes maybe, um, but it's not, the difference is night and day. There's times I don't feel anything. There's times it feels perfectly normal. Like right now it's getting to be the end of the day. I'm kind of tired. Um, so, you know, I feel like some pressure in here sometimes and sometimes I'll feel it back here. Um, so anyways, I'm going to show you the oil. So what I do, um, because I couldn't eat. I couldn't eat. Um, you probably can't tell because I'm always sitting down, but I've lost 18 pounds since this started. And it dropped very quickly because I could not eat anything. I couldn't even, food even being in my mouth would set it off. Um, I, it was, it was horrendous. Um, and that's the other thing that I've changed too. And I'll talk about that after, but, um, so anyways, I'm going to show you. So, the first oil I use is Melissa. And you see how tiny the bottle is? 
very small, um, five milliliter bottle. Like I said, it's very precious oil. It's very expensive. You know, and you know the funny part about this oil? <laughs> I always thought it smelled horrible. Always did. Put it on my feet and I'd be like, oh, I'm so glad it's on my feet. I stick it in my mouth now. <laughs> but anyway, so there's my Melissa. And then I also use frankincense. Frankincense is the king of all oils. Frankincense is absolutely amazing. I've been using frankincense for forever. Love it. And peppermint. And lavender. So also, I didn't bring it over here, but I also use geranium and I diffuse. So I haven't been doing it as much during the day. I don't know why, but I just haven't been thinking about it, but I really should be. But I diffuse lavender, geranium, and frankincense in my diffuser at night. Um, geranium is actually really good for um, nerve repair and that kind of thing. Um, so I do diff diffuse that. Um, so I just wanted to give you an idea of what these oils do. Because, I mean, you know, I can tell you, oh, yeah, you know, these are the oils that are working for me. And doesn't mean it doesn't mean that they will work for you. All I can say is that God pointed me in this direction and it is a miraculous difference. Um, I can have a normal conversation with people. Um, I don't have to worry about when the next shock is going to come into my head um, and literally throw me to my knees. Um, so anyways, the Melissa oil, and I wanted to see, want you to show, show you the difference. So these the regular bottles are like 15 mils, and the Melissa only comes in the five. Okay. So, Melissa oil. I'm going to give you um, what they're good for. It's a good anti-inflammatory. That's the Melissa oil's biggest thing. So, sorry, my leg. <laughs> um, so, Melissa oil is great for um, anti-inflammatory um, purposes. And really what is going on with this nerve is it is being compressed. So it can be compressed by a number of different things, but it also can be compressed because of there being inflammation, inflammation, you know, within your brain or your neck or whatever, um, causing the compression along with, you know, it could also be um, vessels. So then for frankincense, frankincense is good for cellular function. So it support cellular function. And what I'm trying to do in this natural approach is actually to repair the nerve, to repair that nerve, the myelin sheath that has been rubbed off um, for whatever reason. I mean, it can be repaired and over time. So frankincense for support of the cellular function, anti-inflammatory also is also good for a stress reducer. Um, frankincense is beautiful stress reducer. Frankincense um, it has been known to treat cancers, documented cases of frankincense treating cancer. Peppermint is a wonderful pain reliever. So great for pain relief. Lavender, also an anti-inflammatory, um, great pain reliever. Also stimulates brain activity. Um, it also, uh, let's see. Reduces stress and anxiety, and it helps you sleep. And then Copaiba, which I haven't um, started yet, like I said. Um, I'm kind of excited to see when I put that in the mix, what kind of results I'm going to get. Probably be better. Um, Copaiba, anti-inflammatory, also a pain reliever. Improves your mood. Cleanses your body of toxins by stimulating your urinary system. So, um, and that's where I'm going to start talking about diet because I really do believe that, um, along with the huge amount of stress, the huge amount of stress that I have in my personal life, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in our personal lives, um, 
that I don't talk about a whole lot, but you know, we're raising our grandchild. So I'm sure if you think about it for a few minutes, you can probably figure there's more to the story. So anyways, um, so the stimulation of your urinary tract, so you can get away, get rid of the toxins that are in your body to flush your system out. Um, and also Copaiba also, um, lowers blood pressure. We all need that. Although I've never had a problem with my blood pressure, but stress, stress is a huge factor in so many people's lives. Um, myself included. And so I use those oils. So like I said before, I take one drop of each. Now the woman that had contacted me said that she used two drops of each oil. I haven't had to do that. There was only one time since I started doing this that, um, I'll give you a time. Say, for instance, I, I decided to do the rinse at like 8 a.m. And I finished at 8.30 because I really tried to hold it for the 30 minutes. Um, and it was like 10 minutes later and I was like, mm, some, it's not feeling right. So I did it again right away. So that was almost like taking a two-drop dose. But then I didn't have to do anything at all for the rest of the day. Um, I actually went to bed and, and whatever. So what else I do on top of putting these oils underneath my tongue and holding and swishing. And I try to concentrate most of um, when I'm swishing over here onto my left side, hold it there um, because the sensitivity was so bad on this side that I couldn't even touch my teeth with my tongue. Not my teeth on my tongue would send me into agony. So as you can see now I can talk normally, do whatever. Um, so what else I do is I take the oils with some fractionated coconut oil, which I didn't bring the bottle in here, but one drop of fractionated coconut oil, um, and then one drop of each of those oils like this into my hands. I rub here into the back of my neck, here, here, take my glasses off. I go all the way around this side, back down the other side, concentrate the majority of the oil on the left side, because that's where the my pain comes from, but I'm doing my whole head because I want my whole brain to receive all of the wonderful properties that are in these oils. So that's what I do for my oils. That's what I use. That is my miracle. It is a miracle. No one will ever tell me any different that it's not a miracle because the only options that I have heard or had heard over and over and over again is Kim. It's either you have to take these drugs or you will need to have surgery or they're going to have to do multiple testing until they finally find out where the nerve is being compressed and et cetera, et cetera. So I also have been doing other research. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of type A that way, but if I, I have a medical background, um, I did ultrasound for like 10 years. Um, so I saw a lot, I did biopsies. I did a lot of different things. Um, you know, had wonderful radiologists that I worked with very, very knowledgeable people. Um, so I have learned a lot over the years. I mean, I don't do that in my life anymore. I feel like God has called me to do other things. I'm raising my grandchild. Um, and she's like future kingdom. So, you know, it's all good. That's what I'm supposed to be doing now. Um, but anyways, diet. And you know, my friend, <laughs> my good friend, she's been trying for a long time to tell me. She's like, Kim, you really need to, to clean up your diet because with the amount of stress that you're under and the amount of things that you have going on in your personal life, you know, your body needs to be strong. It needs to be able to, to fight against all of this stuff that you have going on in your life all the time. And you know, you kind of like whatever. And, um, I love chocolate. I love junk food. I love, um, you know, I mean, I, I like food. <laughs> um, but when I got really sick, I had to force myself to eat anything and food, be my mindset quickly became different. Um, and I started thinking, you know what? If the, the least thing that I have to do is to, to change my diet to get well, that's a no brainer. So anyways, now 
the lady I spoke to that night also told me about some supplements that she does. And then I had another woman who had told me about some supplements that she uses. And so I've decided that I'm using them both. Um, and combination thereof or whatever oils I started first, the supplements, um, within the next day or so. Um, but anyway, I've always taken a probiotic, um, and I've always taken apple cider vinegar. I don't, I take the capsule. I, yeah, I'm not going to drink it. Um, so anyway, so I want to show you, um, the supplements that I use and it, it doesn't matter the brand. I mean, I just went to, um, my local natural food store, um, to get these supplements and this one I didn't actually, this one I ordered online and this one was one that, um, that woman had told me about and it's, um, ritual essentials for women. And I take these because they have folate in them. Um, and folate is actually a B9. It's part of the vitamin B group. I guess I did my homework. <laughs> um, and it's, it has a very crucial, crucial role in cell growth and nerves are made up of cells. And so how can I heal the nerves or heal this nerve if it doesn't have what it needs for proper growth? Um, so I say folate, not folic acid. There's a difference. Folate is natural. It's the natural source of B9. Folic acid is a synthetic that has been made, um, and it takes a whole lot longer for your body to metabolize than folate does. So there you have it. Um, so the other thing, now this particular drug, um, I should have done more research before, but anyways, I take this thing called Mirka and it helps with nerve pain. Um, and yeah, so far so good. It seems to be working. It's, I can show you what it looks like. Those were kind of like see-through. They're like in a veggie capsule. And then I also take B12. Um, and I'm not, I'm not giving dosages on any of these. I mean, if you really want to know exactly what I'm doing, I will be more than happy um, to message with you. You can email me. Um, you know, my email, I do believe, is in my description box. And if it's not, I will make sure it is. Um, but I also take the sublingual um, vitamin B12. So it goes underneath your tongue. And vitamin D, bleh, vitamin B12 helps make the DNA that makes up all of your cells. Um, so it's good for your nerves and your blood cells. And so um, since B12 is responsible for the making of DNA and DNA is part of your cells, then it's just an awesome supplement to have. And the last one that I take is lipoic acid. Um, this one too. You what it looks like. It's another um, veggie capsule. And it reduces the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy or nerve damage. It's just a very powerful supplement that really helps with nerve damage. Um, and so, yeah, there you have it. Um, I just hope that this is a blessing to you. That's all I want this to be. If this helps even one person, if one person comes to know Jesus Christ to do this, I will be overwhelmed because he ultimately is the healer. He is the alpha. He is the omega. He is the reason why I take breath. He is the reason why that I found this because he directed my steps and he directed my path and he led me to that exact moment with that woman that night who showed me something that I already had that God had already prepared for me. All right, y'all. I love you and I will talk to you again soon.